Good evening and welcome to Vespers at Charter House. We worship in a time of national unrest. We worship not knowing what the future may hold, but most of all, we worship together. This evening, we turn our thoughts to God Almighty and to our Lord Jesus, the mighty counselor, the Prince of Peace. Let us pray. Thanks be to you, Lord Jesus Christ, most merciful Redeemer, for the countless blessings and benefits you give. May we know you more clearly, love you more dearly, and follow you more nearly day by day, praising you with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. In this time of relative turmoil, we have one very good reason to read scripture. By reading scripture, whether aloud or silently, or by recalling Bible verses that we know by heart, we are actually spending time with God. Have you ever thought about that? Isn't that amazing? And isn't that a very, very good use of our time? So now let's spend some time with God as we hear Psalm 139, one of the most beautiful and heartfelt expressions of love for God and of love from God in the entire Bible. Take comfort as you hear and enter into the powerful relationship with God expressed in Psalm 139. O oh Lord, you have searched me and known me. You know when I sit down and when I rise up. You discern my thoughts from far away. You search out my path and my lying down and are acquainted with all my ways. Even before a word is on my tongue, O oh Lord, you know it completely. You hem me in behind and before and lay your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me. It is so high that I cannot attain to it. Where can I go from your spirit? Or where can I flee from your presence? If I ascend to heaven, you are there. If I make my bed in Sheol, you are there. If I take the wings of the morning, and dwell at the uttermost parts of the sea. Even there your hand shall lead me, and your right hand shall hold me fast. If I say, surely the darkness shall cover me, and the light around me become night. Even the darkness is not dark to you. The night is as bright as the day, for darkness is as light to you. For it was you who formed my inward parts. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works, that I know very well. My frame was not hidden from you when I was being made in secret, intricately woven in the depths of the earth. Your eyes beheld my unformed substance, in your book were written all the days that were formed for me, when none of them as yet existed. How weighty to me are your thoughts, O God! How vast is the sum of them! If I try to count them, they are more than the sand. I come to the end, and I am still with you. Search me, O God, and know my heart. Test me and know my thoughts. See if there is any wicked way in me and lead me in the way everlasting. Let us pray. Almighty God, creator of the universe, we are filled with wonder at all your works and overwhelmed by your infinite wisdom 
We praise you for your majesty, yet even more we rejoice that you do not forget us, yet desire to know and care for us. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, we pray. Amen. Hear the holy word of God in St. Paul's letter to the Philippians, chapter 4. Paul writes, Therefore, my brothers and sisters, whom I love and long for, my joy and crown, stand firm in the Lord in this way, my beloved. Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I will say rejoice. Let your gentleness be known to everyone. The Lord is near. Do not worry about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Finally, beloved, whatever is true, Whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is pleasing, whatever is commendable, if there is any excellence and if there is anything worthy of praise, think about these things. Keep on doing the things that you have learned and received and heard and seen in me, and the God of peace will be with you. Here ends the reading. Let us pray. Eternal God, amid all the turmoil and changes of the world, your love is steadfast and your strength never fails. In this time of danger and trouble, be to us a sure guardian and a rock of defense. Guide the leaders of our nation with your wisdom. Comfort those in distress and grant us courage and hope to face the future. We ask this through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Way back in high school, I was part of an a cappella choir, and we sang a song that has stayed with me. It's a poem of Robert Frost set to music. Many of you may know it because and because we sang it from memory, now the poem is part of my heart and mind. Listen to Frost's poem, Choose Something Like a Star. O oh star, the fairest one in sight, we grant your loftiness the right to some obscurity of cloud. It will not do to say of night, since dark is what brings out your light. Some mystery becomes the proud, but to be wholly taciturn in your reserve is not allowed. Say something to us we can learn by heart, and when alone, repeat. Say something, and it says, I burn. But say with what degree of heat. Talk Fahrenheit. Talk centigrade. Use language we can comprehend. Tell us what elements you blend. It gives us strangely little aid, but does tell something in the end. And steadfast as Keats Eremite, not even stooping from its sphere, it asks a little of us here. It asks of us a certain height. So when at times the mob is swayed to carry praise or blame too far, we may choose something like a star to stay our minds on and be stayed. I think that's what St. Paul is talking about when he says, whatever things are pure and honorable, think on these things. Because friends, I'm taping the service of evening prayer on Thursday evening as a snowstorm bears down upon us and as our president has been impeached. As rioters have entered our national sanctum of democracy, the U.S. Capitol, as lives were lost because a large number of people believe 
that our fair and free election was stolen. So we now have a time of national unrest. Only God knows what has happened on the weekend before this Vesper service is being shown on Sunday night. And what are we to do, friends at Charter House, staff and residents? No matter what our personal beliefs, what are we to do? The key to the answer for me is that word, beliefs. Our personal beliefs must be most of all in God and in our Lord Jesus Christ. We must not put any trust in princes of this world. They will fail us. For God alone my soul in silence waits, says the psalmist. And we must do the same. Love God above all others. Seek ye my face, says the Lord, in another place in the Psalms. And we answer, thy face, O Lord, will I seek. Turn not thy face from me. Whatever we focus on, that's our reality. So we can heed the words of Paul. Whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is pleasing, Whatever is commendable, if there is any excellence and if there is anything worthy of praise, think about these things. And there's a promise that goes with it. And the God of peace will be with you. In the meantime, we have to love each other. In thinking about the various groups that form our families and our neighbors, and our nation at this time of national distress, it's helpful to see and understand that the, the way that our allegiance to our various beliefs, the way that allegiance was formed was through emotional connections, deep, intense emotional connections that people have. And so they think and they believe as they do. For example, there's a sense of fear and grievance being deprived of a way of life by brown and black people. It's very real. This is an emotional experience that leads to beliefs. And the way that this is going to be restored in our families and our neighbors and our nation is also through emotional connections the very same way that it was formed in the first place. Your relationship with your friends will eventually help you both find a way back to each other. And your relationship with your neighbors and your family members will eventually help you find a way back to each other through the emotional connections that are so real. It will take time before people are free of what divides them now. But genuine caring and kindness can help people relate to each other as people. It may take weeks, months, or years. It may even take a generation before relationships can be mended and whole again. So keep the lines of communication open. Or take a break if you cannot talk easily enough, but keep on loving. Keep on sending the notes, the cards, the pictures to those who disagree with you and with me. Keep on praying. Friends at Charter House, residents and staff, what we're doing is really hard right now. It's not just the pandemic, it's the political too. It's really hard what we've been doing. And what we need in this time is to be kind to each other. We need to lower our standards for achievement and accomplishing things during the pandemic 
Cleaning out that closet can wait. Getting through your entire list of books that you should be reading can wait. We need to be kind to ourselves and to each other and realize that we are doing the best that we can. So go easy and know that we we will make mistakes because it is hard what we're doing here at Charter House and in our lives. What do you think about when you think about what is true, what is honorable, what is just and pure? What comes to mind when you think about these things? Does anything or anyone come to your mind I see the faces of my parents, especially my mother, a history teacher. She never felt she took a good picture, but her humility, her principle, her kindness, even her purity shone through to me. That's a kind of star that I choose to remember in these turbulent and difficult times and the love my parents had for each other. Choose something like a star to stay our minds on and be stayed. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord Jesus, that the ears which have heard the voice of your songs may be closed to the voice of dispute that the eyes which have seen your great love may also behold your blessed hope, that the tongues which have sung your praise may speak the truth in love, that the feet which have walked in your courts may walk in the region of light, and that the bodies which have received your living body may be restored in newness of life. Glory to you for your inexpressible gift, for you live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Dear God, we pray for our nation during this time. May we as a nation be restored to the greatest principles on which we were founded. Fairness, equality for all. Honor, justice, and mercy. We pray for the leaders of our nation. We pray for our outgoing president and our incoming president as we prepare for inaugura inauguration. Please let your mantle of mercy be upon them. Please let the depth of your wisdom and counsel inform them as they take up their responsibilities and as they leave their responsibilities. Please God, let our nation be a blessing to others again. Dear Lord, we pray for our families in our community, in Rochester and at Charter House. Show us the way to be kind. Show us the way to keep on loving and teach us your heart of love. Lord Jesus Christ, we pray for the poor, those who reach out to you for healing, those who are mourning tonight. Comfort their hearts, we pray, and mend all the harms that have been done. Bind up the brokenhearted and teach us to follow in your way, Lord Jesus Christ. We pray in your holy and precious name. Amen. This evening we join in the hymn of Christians throughout the world as we celebrate the coming light of Jesus who is the light of the world. Joyous light of glory of the eternal Father, heavenly, holy, blessed Jesus Christ, we have come to the setting of the sun and we look to the evening light we sing to you the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy of being praised with pure voices forever. 
O Son of God, O giver of life, the universe proclaims your glory. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us pray as Jesus taught us, using the word sins and sin. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Thank you for sharing Vespers with me tonight. We sincerely thank all of our staff for making the effort to connect us for this worship time. I want you to remember that God loves you and I love you. And now please receive the benediction. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord's face shine upon you with grace and mercy. The Lord lift up the light of his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen. Precious Lord, take my hand and lead me on. Let me stand. I am tired. I am weak. And I Take my hand, pray.